Hey, what's up, people? Piz out here. And today I want to talk to you guys about the fifth sequel in the illustrious Child's Play saga, Curse of Chucky. And I have to admit that when I first saw the trailer for Curse of Chucky, my expectations were admittedly low. Um, it was direct DVD. It looked cheap. The Chucky doll looked awful. There was some questionable CGI in the trailer. It all just added up for a really bad movie. And then slowly but surely I started to hear good things about the film. First from my buddy B Movie Mike, which I'll put a link to his review in the description below. And that got me really interested to see the film. And I even mentioned in my uh, trailer reaction to Curse of Chucky that this is either going to be the worst movie or it may surprise us. And I'm very happy to report the latter. I, I was really surprised by The Curse of Chucky, and I'll even go so far as to say that I think this was the best Child's Play sequel um, of them all. But Curse of Chucky takes place 25 years after the events of the original Child's Play film. A young paraplegic woman and her mother receive a package in the mail. Uh, the package contains, of course, the good guy doll possessed with the soul of serial killer Charles Lee Ray, a.k.a. Chucky. That very night, the young woman's mother... <clears throat> mysteriously dies the following day the young woman's sister, her husband, her young daughter, um, her nanny, and her priest all show up at the house to give Chucky a nice array of victims to slaughter throughout the rest of the film and all sorts of carnage ensue. And what fans really wanted with just if there were going to be any other child's play films was to take it back to its roots to make a serious dark violent slasher film which and what I always loved about the original Child's Play yes it's a killer doll movie but they take it very seriously it has a very dark tone about it it's very violent uh, it was directed very very well by Tom Holland and really all the other Child's Play films I felt took Chucky especially the the the, the, the most recent ones took Chucky down the road of just pure parody. He was a parody of himself, one-liner spewing. He wasn't even, I mean, remotely, I think, intimidating or scary or even really malevolent um, in any of those films, to be perfectly honest. And Church of Chucky takes us back to that. It's a darker film. There's a darker tone in the film. Chucky is, is very violent. Chucky is very evil in this film. Now granted, they, they take it seriously, yes, but they don't take it overly seriously. Yes, there's a lot of winks in, in, in the movie to previous Child's Play films. Chucky does crack a one-liner or two here and there. Um, but I really appreciated the fact that they went back to those roots. And the first thing that really struck me about the film was it, I thought it looked really well. And, and, and I wondered if, if the movie had ever been shot with the intention of it getting a theatrical release or not. Um, I thought the movie was really well written. Um, I liked the references to previous Child's Play films. I liked the characters. I liked the dialogue for the most part. I thought it was very smartly written. Um, I thought the film was just very, very well made by Don Mancini, who he wrote and directed this film. He'd written all the previous Child's Play films. He'd written and directed Seed of Chucky, and he wrote and directed Curse of Chucky. Um, and he did, I think, an excellent job uh, directing the film. There's a really good sequence toward the beginning where there are, I do believe, six bowls of chili on the table. And one of those bowls is poison. And everybody is eating the chili. And we're watching them eat the chili and just shoveling the chili in their mouths. And we're waiting for someone to show signs of being poisoned. <clears throat> well, the eating the chili turns into the ticking of a clock. And the ticking of a clock turns into the soundtrack, which sounds like the ticking of a clock, which then turns into a heartbeat which then turns into, oh, this is the person who's been poisoned. I thought that sequence was handled really, really well. I really liked that sequence. Um, the kills in the film, bloody, over the top. Um, there's one involving an axe to the jaw that I thought was really cool. Um, the Chucky doll, although he looks silly in the trailer, and he looks kind of silly in the film, to a, to a point, they explain why, and I totally can understand. I can totally buy that's why the Chucky doll looks the way that it did in the trailer. And to that point in the film, um, there were a lot of flashbacks to 
not just the original film, but to uh, prior to the original film that led up to um, the, the events of the original film, which I don't want to give too much away. There's a lot of really cool backstory with the with the film that linked Charles Lee Ray to the paraplegic woman and so on and so forth. Um, the end of the film, the after the the, the credit sequence. Is definitely worth sticking around for. I got a huge kick out of that sequence. Um, I just got a huge kick out of the movie in general. I really enjoyed it. Is it a perfect film? No. Does it have some flaws? Yes. There's some questionable CGI in the film involving Chucky. Really not that huge of a deal. It didn't take me out of the film at all. Um, it was fun. It was fast paced. Like I said, I thought it was smartly written. Uh, I thought it was well directed. Um, it was darker, much darker than the previous films. Chucky was um, pretty malevolent and evil in the film, and that's A-OK -okay with me. Um, so I, I definitely highly, highly recommend Curse of Chucky if you guys haven't seen it. If, if the trailer just totally turns you guys off, you know, go go give it a rental. It's in the red box right now. It's definitely worth a dollar fifty uh, to rent it on DVD at least. Um, but uh, yeah, I highly recommend Curse of Chucky. I think you guys should go out and uh, check it out. Um, I really enjoyed really every aspect of the film, including uh, uh, the characters, the performances. I thought Fiona Dorf, who's Brad Dourif's daughter, gave an excellent performance in the lead. Uh, Brad Dourif, of course, the, the, the voice of Chucky, he's also in the film as, as Charles Lee Ray in some sequences. Great performance from him. Just all around really surprised me uh, how well I thought this film was and, and how much I really enjoyed it and um, yeah I highly recommend it I think you guys should all go check out Curse of Chucky which I mean I'm surprised <laughs> I'm surprised I can say that and, and, and really stand behind it but yeah I highly recommend the Curse of Chucky so anyway until next time you guys take it easy peace